this this one's a very short one, but this is on. Did you ever think about it through the pandemic or anything? What about guitar hygiene? Well, you know, it's always nice when you see a guitar that's really clean and nice. I worry sometimes about my students that their guitars are so polished and so nice. Uh, it looks like they never played them. They get one little mark by accident on there, one little love mark, and they're like totally bummed. Well, guitars are like people. They're characters. They have personalities, and they get the personality by you. So it can be cool to have a guitar that's beat up. Even You can even see they charge a lot more for those guitars sometimes. To, you know, they're, they're, they're all, they look like they've been uh, thrown down the street and run over, and, uh, you know, they're all scuffed up and marked up, and those guitars uh, have a certain look and persona to them. Well, I tend to, most of my guitars, all my guitars are female. Of course, I'm a male, and I have female names, and female visions of my guitars are female. So they're, they're girls, and of uh, different ages, and I, I just, uh, I like that idea of my woman, my girl, playing my girl, working with my girl, you know? doing things to her, loving her, you know? <laughs> you can go pretty crazy into all that, but I guess girls playing guitar could do the same thing. Their guitar could be a guy, could be a husband, could be a boyfriend, you know? Could be someone. It could be anyone, a relative or a grandfather, a grandmother, or, or someone, uh, character, Felix the cat. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, so that's all cool, but, you know... I don't want to pick up someone's guitar. Someone says, hey, dude, come play my guitar, you know, or hand me a guitar on stage. Hey, we had a jam session or something, and I get a guitar, and I, and, I, and I kind of look at it, and I go, wow, man, what are the, are those boogers? Uh, uh, and I, or I see really crusty strings, you know, and I go, man, there's like mold and, and stuff in the frets, and Man, what what is this? What is food in is food in here? Well, I used to be accused of that when I used to walk out in my audiences, walk behind the bar, I'd grab a carrot or I'd grab a someone's spare rib and do some playing with it, you know, hammering on the guitar and doing effect things. But for the most part, you want to be cool. You you don't want to give someone a guitar that you've been coughing on and sneezing on and maybe even. Uh, maybe you've even been really nastying it up just on purpose. That that that's very bad. That's uh, that's a crime. Okay, you don't want to do that. You don't want to go there. But to hand someone a nice guitar that's nice and clean, and even if the finish is beat up, but the guitar is still cool. You know, there's not things hanging on it. There's not fungi, and there's not uh, you know a virus laden guitar. You know, with things that you would worry about because our hands you know our hands carry things our fingers do so it's kind of a good idea to always be uh, mindful of that to keep your hands clean if you keep your fingers all the time wet that you're not going to get your calluses you need the calluses but you know your guitars are part of your an extension of your body and how you maintain your body is how you maintain your guitar you know i, I think you'd want to be careful did you see what I just did? I just went like that. I just rubbed my nose. Well, what if what if I did that and then went and played? Yikes. We know our hands are places, and then they're on your guitar. And then you can get your guitar to someone or say, dude, go ahead and play it, you know? I don't know. Yikes. I want to be careful about that. So this was your, your lesson and caring about guitar hygiene. Care about it. It doesn't matter what kind of guitar it is. Respect. Think about it. All right. Say no more. It's actually a good lesson and a healthy lesson for you.